Welcome back guys, how you doing? My name is Marks, this is Markcraft, and today we're going to be getting the rest of this village up. So as I said, today I'm planning on getting maybe not quite fully detailed, I mean this one's still not fully detailed yet, but at least getting it to uh, a built stage, uh, so get at least all these walls in, uh, get the buildings up, probably not get the cliffs done, but maybe at least get them up to, to this point, so they're at least, uh, the height is going to be all the way around, so it's going to make this feel very enclosed in, um, at least for now. I need to get the chicken coop or something down this side here, but between, between episodes, because I felt that last episode kind of sucked and there wasn't a lot in it, I've spent a lot of time researching and working out just how to make the paths a little better. And so I watched a lot of videos by a guy called Uncle Jam to try and work it out. Couldn't do it myself. So essentially just stole them from um, a collection of B-dubs old texture pack and uh, whips texture pack and then just edited them uh, slightly. Uh, which, to be fair, <clears throat> excuse me, to be fair, they, they've come out quite well. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I want them coming onto the, the actual pass block. Uh, I'm not going to use it this heavily anyway. Uh, but it works. I mean, this was unexpected. I didn't know it came up the side of stone, of cobblestone. I knew it came. Have I got any on me? No. So if I've got. Uh, cobblestone next to dirt. I know in that instance, there we go. Now in that instance, it does blend. So you get this bleed over effect. I didn't know it did it down the sides. Or on top. Um, now I also did it for underside. So Andesite bleeds into it. Um, can't remember if dirt overrides Andesite. I don't think it does. I think it did it the other way. No, I did it the other way. So because coarse dirt and dirt are the main, main sort of blocks we, we're going to be using for roads and things, at least in the poorer areas, it's a uh, word. I've gone blank. Yeah, it, it made them look really bad because you'd have maybe one or two underside blocks surrounded by dirt and you'd end up with this tiny, tiny little strange um, block. So like the reverse of this. So that would end up being maybe just a little circle in the middle. It looked awful. So like that, it, to be fair, it looked like that, kind of. Yeah, and it just didn't look right when you're trying to use it as a a block to break it down. Um, it just went really weird. So yeah, I uh, I kind of just reversed it. Um, now what I'm going to do is because it's going to take a while to do everything I've got planned here going to jump into my camera account and do it as a time lapse. So let's get going.
Right, so that was 40 minutes compressed into about three. Um, now you'll notice something that you won't have seen in the time lapse, and that is that this wall is now up all the way around. Um, so I've changed the level, it's gradually coming down uh, just to follow down to this point here so it's not quite as steep so these two bits here are the same level but um, it gradually comes up to this point here dips back down again and then comes back up so this is it's gonna follow all the way around and um, but yet yeah, this place looks really really different now I've got everything in uh, putting a stone placeholder just there that may change may come out entirely it may come further forward don't really know until until i've done um cliff really as to how that's going to look uh, but even even just with the the basic shells in i mean you can see how much different this looks compared to those that's it's not very detailed i mean it is comparatively but it's it's just not um, so there's these these little things that I've done here. So in the UK, I don't know if we have if they're in America or whatnot, uh, but we have turnstiles. Um, and rather than just do do like a, a normal gate, obviously <laughs> yes, there's a gate there. Um, so you can just do that. But I thought, okay, let's let's try and create. I'm not happy with the copy, but I thought let's try and create a. Uh, turnstile and they kind of do they do look a little, a little bit like them not massively but they do um but as well so that they're, they're on all of them uh, i've got one of those on all but that one I believe um but yeah it's filled out the space a lot better than than i thought it would I mean, yes, I made them bigger, but like we don't have the massive gap. Well done. The massive gap that was here. I mean, it's still a gap, but it's nowhere near as big. Um, and we don't want anything too much here because this is going to be, you know, as you come in, it might be like a, a tree or a custom tree here or something. Um, Something along those lines. But yeah, this is... Oh, let's put this down. Don't realize I had that in hand. Go away. So yeah, I only only just discovered you can do that. Never knew about it before. Uh, but um, because the, the kingdom's called Albero, which is Italian for tree. So I thought, okay, well, we'll name all cities and villages after, after trees. Spooky cave sounds. Um, so this one is Birch Village. So we've got the best attempt at a tree I've found anywhere online. Yes, I had to use a tutorial for that because I've never done banners before. Um, but yeah, it looks quite good, I think. It looks like a birch. But the main purpose of it was, was so we can name the villagers on the, the big map I've got. Uh, which isn't finished. I've only done half of it, maybe, and it's it's a lot of mapping, a lot of flying around. I got through a few stacks of rockets just doing what I've done. Um, fortunately, I've got a box full. But yeah, these these are so much better than I thought they were. That one threw me off because I accidentally did it on, <laughs> did it on an even number. Somehow, both sides. I thought it was just this one, just this bit that was six wide. It turned out I did it six by eight, so that's six, and this is eight. God knows it was meant to be six by. Uh, it was meant that bit itself was meant to be seven by nine, I think. Um. So yeah, that one that one threw me off a bit. Um. Now, when I built these in my creative world, they actually all had 
aside from the small ones, had chimneys on them. Um, now I've since changed my mind about those as to whether I'm actually going to have them. I may put them back in depending on how it looks after, but they wouldn't have had chimneys in the Middle Ages. They would have been just like this, so these walls would have been pretty thick um, to help actually keep keep the heat in and keep you warm. So you would have probably had a fire or like a pot or something that you cooked in the middle of the house and that it was used then as the heat for the house in the colder months, but you'd have just wrapped up warmer more than anything. Um, so yeah, for now I've taken them off. I may put them back on. Um, I'm going to detail the outside of these off camera um, to do the bases, the walls and the other bits and bobs and get them looking a little bit closer to this one. Uh, I also need to replace the bits and bobs on that. I think I said I was going to do that between episodes and just didn't. I kind of forgot about it to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that and then I will be back to show you guys how it looks. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, it took a it took a lot longer than I thought it would do to flesh out the village, and my inventory is a mess. So don't pay attention to that. Um, yeah, a few few changes since last time. Um, I've still not got around to doing these walls. That is, yeah, just no. I've just not done it yet. Um, so I changed out the roads entirely. The roads, the path in the village. Um, so that's completely changed out. It's coarse dirt, andesite, uh, normal dirt. Um, some random bits of grass that I've popped down as well. I, put, I still need to change these carpets to something better suiting. I'm not too sure what. Um because traditionally it's wood so brown maybe but I, yeah we'll see I'll try it and see how it looks um but yeah I finally got around to changing the roof here to smooth rather than the normal sandstone and I've done the others and now these three are still extremely empty inside but I have got round to these two here uh, also something you may notice is that is an oak trapdoor not spruce that's oak so essentially what I did uh, I went into the texture file took the oak plank um, and just basically stole the essentially oh, the metal strip kind of thing uh, the colours from the spruce one and just applied it to the oak. Um, now these gaps are more frequent. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, the wider um, on this than they are on the spruce. So the spruce only has a two wide gap there. Uh, so I think it has three two wide gaps and two three wide gaps. And but it doesn't have this thick line down the side here. Um. But yeah, that's essentially, it's an oak plank with, turn 90 degrees with, that's on it. And then the oak door. Um, so all I did for this was filled in the windows with the same texture that's on the bottom. Um, just so it looks a bit nicer because spruce doors are way better. But I, uh, I thought, okay, let's change it just so we've not got that weird window. And to be honest, I actually quite like it. I think it looks a lot better. Um, so we've got the bushy, the bushy bushes, the bushy leaves, um, from B dubs and uh, whips texture packs. Slightly altered the the leaves, and then obviously the overlay textures to the floor. Um as well as the dandelions and poppies from B-dubs. 
So, interiors, not my forte. Um, so this is categorically the smallest out of all of them. So it's a, it's a lot easier to fill. And I went with the light grey beds just because I figured that, you know, it'd be a bit dirty. It looks a bit dirty. Um, the fields still need doing. I've got all the crops and things to do them, but it just it kind of made sense for the feel I'm going for. Um, so again, I've used the oak trap door as a shelf here. Uh, so we've got a few of those around. And then as a side panel for this little cooking area. Yes, that's a sea pickle. Um, so it was all because it's Birch Village, I thought, okay, let's get a banner inside. Um, as like a patriotic kind of thing towards the village. You know, they're proud of being settlers here. And then he's got a map of the village as well. Or she. Um, so one thing I do have is I've got the armor stands data pack in that they use on the Hermitcraft server. So I do want to have a play around with that just to bring a bit more life to the village. So there's like people walking around or in the fields or someone in a house like cutting up some veg or, or something like that. Um, there's still a lot more things I can add here, uh, which I may do in like a landscaping kind of video. So landscape this place out a little bit in the next episode, something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're a lot nicer than they were. This window I've gone to double high. And just because this was a big end, I know it's, it's off center because this is too wide, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, I've got a few bushes around the side. The whole place needs landscaping properly, like texturing all the grass, just so it's not all normal grass. Get a bit of uh, green concrete and lot, uh, green wool in here, just to give it a bit of variation. Obviously, a few more grass things. Um, so this one's got quite a bit of space in comparison to the other one. And I mean, this this was just a big open space. And I didn't know what to put here. So I kind of just thought, OK, let's put some chests down. This can be like where they store their crops. And um, so we've got the cooking area here. Um, sort of like a maybe this is the parents bed or something like that. You know, he's, they're up early to go and do other fields, so they sleep downstairs so they don't wake other people. We've got a table here, nice hanging lantern. A few more shelves, another double window on this side. Um, but because this is bigger and taller, we've got a little bit of a, an upstairs bit. So it's just like a bedroom. So another single bed here and then a bunk bed for maybe the kids or something. Bit of storage, nothing, nothing too major, but inside, Interiors are not something I've ever been particularly great at. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get much better at those. 116 should help with that. Um, with the invisible item frames. And as well, once I've had a play with the statues, that will uh, as well make a difference to adding life to things and just making things a bit more interesting. I mean, I could use normal armor stands as well, but as well with this rock, I, uh, I took the top block off, replaced it with a slab just so it's more like a boulder rather than like a tiny little pathetic peaky thing. Um, so it looks a lot more like a boulder. May have a play around a little bit more with it just to change up the stone a bit, maybe get some more, get some cobble in here, maybe some gravel. Uh, Cause we've got two gravel textures. Um, that's one of them. And then there's the default one. Uh, but yeah, it's looking a lot better than it was. It is, it is starting to come to life. I really like this front, the front of this house. I don't know why it just pulls you in. Um, and as well, I added some, some leaves, just the roofs, just to 
give them a bit of uh, a bit of life as well, just so they're not playing boring match imitation rules. Got a bit more life to them, but I didn't want to do it on on all of them, so I've just done two, three, three, yeah. Um, but they kind of actually come through the roof, so I've done them in the valley. Um, so the valley of the roof here. It kind of just comes down, took out a block, and it's coming through there. Same with the big one over here. Same with this one. And then on this one, it just kind of goes over both sides. So if we have a look, yeah. It's kind of just spread a little bit all over the roof. And I think with this one and that one in particular, they'll look really good once I've done the cliffs around the side of them, around the back. Um, the entrance will look terrible until I've actually done the cliffs because these will they'll kind of come out a bit and then bow back out. I mean that's a terrible curve in comparison to Minecraft blocks. But yet they'll they'll probably step back one or two blocks. I mean this one's gonna be it'll probably actually come in line with this here. Um in total and then I want I might make it wider still. So maybe it's a five, five block gap. Um, and then it's going to slope down on this side. This side's going to stay cliffed till much further down close to where I'm going to do the fishing village. Um, but yeah, this, it really is starting to, to come together. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions for, for anything that they think I could add here, um, please do leave a comment and, and mention it needs to be in the middle ages kind of style of things so i'm gonna add in a horse car maybe some wheelbarrows using uh, cutting stones and fence gates because uh, they do kind of lead well to that um but yeah if you've got any suggestions in terms of what i could potentially add extra uh, that, there's going to be a few custom trees around as well as I've mentioned, I think, before. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I actually had quite a lot of fun doing this. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, but it's nice to see it actually starting to get somewhere rather than it just being kind of like a blank, boring, lifeless place. It's starting to get life breathed into it which is nice uh, so yeah it's been nice uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next episode ciao for now bye bye